Hi, I'm Ashley from Clever Touch, and I'm about to take you through the process for registering an account for our new Lynx whiteboard application. There's three parts to it. The first is the setting up of your account and linking up your cloud drives. The second part is the Lynx launcher with the ability to download your software. And the third part is the actual software itself. So initially, let me take you through how to set an account up and register for your account. So first things first, let's go to a browser and you need to go to linkscloud.app. Once here, at this point, you'll need to register for an account. So in the top right hand corner, click on register. It will ask you for your email and it will ask you for a password. You'll then get an email sent out at which point you'll be asked to confirm your authentication and you can then log in at this point. Once you've received your email, you can go ahead and log in. So at this point, let's do that. Click on login. It will then ask you for your email address and password. With your email address and password now entered, let's go ahead and log in. So click on sign in and this will take us through to the next part. You'll be presented with Link 6, which is your traditional software that you may already be using. Uh, it's the equivalent to your smart notebook software, your Active Inspire, or even your PowerPoint software. Link's Whiteboard is the software that we'll be working on today. And you've also got the opportunity to download Link's Whiteboard Beta. At the next point, we'll be talking you through how to download the software and what that means from here, and also how to link in your cloud drives as well. There are now a variety of ways in which you can download your software. You can either do this on a laptop using one of those options there. So links whiteboard, click on download, and that will download it directly to your laptop. Alternatively, if you want to download it onto uh, the Clever Touch screen, you can click on download, and then you would choose Android at this point. Alternatively, you can go to our Clever Store and I'll show you that next and you can download the software from there. If you're using an Android device or an iPad, for example, you can also go directly to the App Store or Google Play and download your apps from there as well. OK, let's get Links Whiteboard installed onto your Clever Touch Impact or Impact Plus. First things first, go to our floating toolbar and click the Home button. Next, click on the Clever Store button. This will take you to the Clever Store. You'll see here in our featured section that you've got the Lynx Whiteboard app, very simply. Click on the Lynx Whiteboard app and it will take you to this space here. Click on the free download and whilst that downloads, we'll be able to um, you start using that software directly on our screen. With the Lynx Whiteboard app downloaded, let's go ahead and install it. So open with package installer and I always click always at this point. Bottom right hand corner, click on install. Now that your app is installed, click on done. And you'll be up and running and ready to use your Lynx whiteboard app. At the moment, bear in mind though, we've not actually connected your cloud drives in order to be able to get access to both your OneDrive and your Google Drive. And I'm about to take you through that now. Okay, in this next section, we will talk you through how to link up your cloud drive. Whether you're linking a Google Drive, a OneDrive, or your Dropbox, the process is the same. We're going to focus on Google Drive, but as I say, the process will be the same if you're connecting up a Dropbox account or your OneDrive. Click on Cloud Drives and then choose Google Drive. At this point, you'll be presented with this screen. And as I said, the same will be applicable whether you're using a OneDrive account or your Dropbox. Click on Link Google Drive. What this will do is take you through your process so that you now link your Google Drive into your Lynx account. At this point, pop in your Google email account. As you can see here, be using our own account. It will then ask you for a password with which you'll need input as well. Now that I've added my password, let's click on enter. Just click on allow and you'll see that this will now allocate your account. So as suggested, this process will be the same whether this is with your uh, OneDrive account or even if it's with your uh, Dropbox account. So you can see here, we've now connected my Google Drive to the account. And as I said, if I wanted to add a OneDrive account, I can click on OneDrive and I can go through the process in the same instance as well. In this case, I've already added my OneDrive account as well. If I click on Dropbox, you'll see that I can then go through the process and I could add a Dropbox account here as well. 
If you're installing the Lynx Whiteboard app on a laptop or a PC, you'll see a slightly different screen, and this is where we're at at the moment. I would always advise you installing Lynx Launcher. The reason for that is that it keeps you up to date with the latest version of the software, and it means that you don't have to go through any admin rights uh, or through the network manager to make sure you're always up to date with the software. So just a quick note to say that if you are going to install your software on a laptop or a PC, I would always suggest you start with the Lynx Launcher so that you can always see that you're up to date when you've got your software downloaded.